Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel back here in Brooklyn, New York. Back at Brooklyn Camper Vans. A lot of activity here today. Today we're gonna meet up with Dave, one of their employees, and he's gonna give us a tour of their newest creation. Hi guys, I'm Dave. Welcome to Brooklyn Camper Vans. I'm gonna show you our Ram Promaster 2500 that is going to a client today. He's picking it up today, which is really exciting. Um, so we're gonna give you one last pass through before he takes it on the road. This is our 2500 Promaster. This is the 136 model. We also do a 159 or 159 extended. We're about to start doing some Mercedes Sprinter vans, which is really exciting as well. First thing you're gonna notice is this double passenger seat that swivels around and becomes your love seat, your couch. Also, right here conveniently, you've got your countertop extension, obviously for cooking, but definitely for getting your work done here. Our client loves to be able to work on the road. While he's sitting here at his kitchen desk, he can also use his monitor as a remote extension. I think that's just a really nice option. That's not something that we do standard, but the client wanted that for his lifestyle. It's a custom van. And if you look down, you'll see our smart core flooring. We've got this in a variety of different colors and styles. Um, it's really durable. It's not gonna scratch. Anything wipes off it. Nothing's gonna stick to it. I think a really excellent vinyl replica of a wood floor. Back here, we've got the shower. Um, we use a flexible grout, which allows us to actually use real tile within these showers, which is cool. Um, sometimes you'll get people using peel and sticks and all these different things, but we like to use the genuine article. We've got a Nebbia shower. It's actually like a really nice um, atomizing shower from Moen, and it saves a great deal of water, which is obviously important when you're on the road. If you pan down, we've actually got a dry flush toilet right here, which is simply hooked in by these hooks into the wall. You need to take this out to take your shower. Um, we've got a stainless steel shower pan here with uh, teak wood squares here that just add a nice little aesthetic, kind of a beachy vibe. It's also removable, so you can access the drainage if you need to in the future. We've got a self squeegee door, which has some light penetration which is just a nice touch uh, and yeah it wipes itself clean drains into the shower pan and of course we've got this built-in shower niche for all your toiletries and this little bar so it won't rattle around while you're driving now if you look up you'll see the ceiling that our client chose we've got our wood slats here um, those are stained of mahogany um, it's a really nice touch I think it really complements those green walls um, we've got LED lights in here uh, standard and everything is insulated in the ceiling with rock wool. It really keeps everything warm uh, in the winter and cool in the summer. And for ventilation, we have two Max Air fans. They are both remote operated. The cool thing about this is that one can draw air in and one can pull air out. So you've got that cross breeze going inside even though we don't have two windows on the side. But we do, in the sliding door, have a window here which opens and that's your ex extra ventilation here. All right, moving on to the galley, we have a full-size butcher block countertop here, which is stained walnut. It's a really nice touch tying in the ceilings. We've got an induction stove top, which is separated from the bed, so you're not sleeping next to the stove. It's also kid-friendly. Even when this is on, your hand's not gonna be able, unless your hand's made out of metal, your hand's not gonna burn on this stove. Um, we've got uh, push to open drawers. As we always say, it's minimalism, but high functionality. Got a uh, Dometic fridge here, which is just clutch. It is uh, lots of space for such a small van. Um, up here we've got an um, electrical system, just a power, we've got a lighting for the track lighting, and a Wabasto controller here. This is the Wabasto um, heating unit, and we are all certified here at Brooklyn Camper Vans to operate and service these. This is a split galley design, so let me show you what we have going on over here. Um, we have got this, again, we've got our walnut countertop here. Um, installed here is our water pump switch, which turns on the water pump. Um, easy access for when you're going to go to take a shower or use the sink. Um, we like to do this seamless transition of the insert. Um, you bring that out, you got a nice black sink to uh, complement the rest of the camper. Um, this guy pulls out, you got your spray mechanism. It's really nice to have that flexibility without it, without it uh, being stuck in one place. We've got power here for the track lighting uh, here in the behind the cabinet. Power. This is our Pico um, controller, which shows you levels on your freshwater tank and your gray water tank. It's nice to just have those digital and not analog. It's just a lot more accurate. Below here, 
we've got these push to open cabinet drawers. We've got our water heater under here, plenty of storage. Now for all your pantry and wardrobe needs, we've got these storage units up here with these gas struts keep it from falling down on your head. Um, we've also got a control panel here, two USB outlets, um, our shower light button, our gray heat for heating the water tank um, so that doesn't freeze, um, and gray release for when we wanna dump our gray water. We've got a microwave here, a nice little tight fit, and these all have snap close, so they're not gonna pop up and start banging around while you're driving. Now we'll move on to where the magic happens here in the... On the full mattress here, we've got a six inch memory foam mattress. This thing is actually really, really comfortable for such a small space. Um, we've also got these ventilation holes down here so that you're gonna get some airflow going through here, not get too hot while you're sleeping. Um, if we pan down here, we have our Wobasto uh, vent, which will bring hot air into the camper. And we have our little cat door, our little goblin door. We have all kinds of names for it. Um, easy access to the Wabasto here if you wanted to put storage here, if you wanted to have a cat litter box in here that the cat could go in and out of, you would have that option. Um, and it's just also nice to be able to um, double check here um, with the goal zero, which we're gonna move on to in the garage. So before we head outside, let's take the time to really appreciate all this detail work that we put into these custom vans. Um, instead of using any aftermarket plastic trim, we really take the time to make these curves out of wood and sand them down and really make that a unique, clean um, profile. We're also using this new technique, um, this Roman clay method of plastering, um, which just adds some texture to the wall, doesn't make it as flat, um, really makes it pop and it really catches the light, especially here um, when you see that um, profiled with this, um, with this LED here. Um, I think the greens and the browns really make this a really unique interior. So let's go outside and check out the garage. So we'll go around here. Um, again, our custom window here. We've got a ladder to our roof deck, which I'll show you in a second. So this is the garage. Uh, we have got our fresh water fill here. It's a 40 gallon tank. Um, that's the ventilation for the uh, the water fill. You open up our little uh, cubby here and you've got access to all the water systems um, and the water pump are in here. There's a uh, um, fresh water dump if you need to, um, especially in the winter if you're going to winterize this. We've got a rubber coating in here so there's no scratching. This is our LED garage um, switch here. We've also got power, exterior power. Um, so if you wanted to have a party out here or you wanted to hook something up, hook up a DJ system, you could do that. Oh, there's Rob. Hey, Rob. Rob's coming out of the cat door. That's our cat, Rob. And if we move in, we've got the Wabasto here. This is usually up front underneath the passenger seat, but this is different because we've got our swivel passenger seat. Here we've got our powerhouse, the Goal Zero 3000. Um, we've got AC pumped in here. We've got DC power for all the 12 volt systems. This thing is so great and Goal Zero, they, I mean, they just do a so such a nice job of taking care of their clients. If something happens, you can take it to any REI and they will replace it for you. Um, and this thing um, is connected to our solar power as well. So you're going to charge while you're on, your, on the road. You're also going to charge through the alternator when you drive. We've got our two fuse boxes here. We've got a lot of accessories in here. So we've got a, a nice um, hub for all those 12 volt systems. Uh, in addition to this being a bed, you can lift this up here. And this becomes a couch. So before we head to the roof, we've got shore power here so that if you ever need to plug in, if you're not getting enough sun for the solar panels, um, you can plug right into shore power. Let's go up on the roof. So these two black boxes are the tops of our Max Air fans. Um, obviously here we've got our Starlink system, fastest internet you can get anywhere in the world. Um, our client likes to work remotely. He can work off the grid doing this. Uh, we've got our composite decking material here. It's not gonna rot. This thing's gonna stay around uh, <laughs> till the apocalypse. And these are our 300 watts of solar panels. Thanks so much for visiting us today. It was really fun showing you around. You can visit us online at brooklyncampervans.com at Brooklyn Camper Vans on all the socials. Um, turns out the client's here. Let's go show him his new van. All right, let's go give Pat his van. All right, Pat. You ready to see your van? Yeah. All right, come on in. He's all yours. 
<laughs> oh wow guys that's it this is my van <laughs> this is your van yeah go have a seat everything that i said to arthur came true <laughs> <laughs> we delivered right you delivered and you guys delivered where are you gonna go first i'm actually thinking of going to utah going to utah sweet yeah, like, um the monument valley yeah. the there's some there's some arches there. the arches rice canyon yeah. yeah well you'll think of us when you're uh when traveling out there huh oh definitely i mean you guys made my my dream come true have a blast man take lots of pictures and send them to us tell us a little bit about things that you picked out in the build oh okay kind of like so basically let's start with the walls because the walls basically is kind of like the deciding factor to make it like me and basically it takes a while for me because um i've been sending a lot of pictures to arthur of what type of green i want to i want to use so we we end up doing the the uh, Roman clay, very, very dark green color. And it turned out to be, yeah, this is it. That's the color. And it turned out to be, it, it works well with the, because I like dark brown um, features too in my van. And they have, I don't know what what table is this, but I told them dark brown, dark, dark brown force. And then I, in their website, um, the kind of like the standard color of their selling is kind of light brown i said if you can do it a little bit dark brown and they did it and i'm so happy that they did because um it's just something that i can imagine it's just it works well congratulations i know you're in good hands at brooklyn camper vans and arthur just showed up you guys remember him from a couple videos well this is patrick with new jersey's outdoor adventures youtube channel thanks for joining us